Hello and welcome to Soft Expert. In today's video, I will show you how you can add a pop-up card to your WorldFace website. So if you have a new commerce website with WorldFace and you want to add a pop-up card, you can do it easily by watching this video. Let me show you the demo. If I open this card, you can see this is a pop-up card with the products, their images. We can increase, decrease the quantities. We can apply coupons. We can update the card. And from here, we can visit the main card page or checkout page. And we can also remove products just like this. And now let's try adding another product. So I will add this one. You can see the animations and now we have two. And you can also enable auto pop-up. So this will open automatically. So this is the type of pop-up that we will be creating in this video. Now let's get started. By the way, I already have a few videos about this topic in which we created another pop-up, a sidecar. So if you need any of those, you can watch my previous videos. Let's go to our WordPress dashboard and here we will add another plugin. So just go to plugins and add new. And here we will search for Instantio. And you will see this plugin Instantio WooCommerce Quick Checkout. Just install and activate this. And plugin activated. Once you activate the plugin, you can scroll down and you will see this Instantio. So let's go to Instantio. Let me close all of these. And here you can do some settings for the plugin. And under General Tab, we have the layout options where you can select side card, direct checkout button, pop up card, and so on. And as I said, we will be creating a pop up card. So let's choose this one and you can choose an icon for the card so you can use this one or this one and then card play animations so you can enable and disable this by enabling this the card icon will be floating i'll show you later in this video and then card play icon animation so you can use this one or this one and this is how to open toggle panel so if you enable this then this will auto open the pop-up which is a good option this is the card button so we can enable and disable this one and you can also use some other text like view your card page and so on and here you can change the card page url by default this will be taking users to the card page and then we have checkout button so here you can see show checkout button you can enable this and i'll show you how this look and again you can change the text and the link for the checkout button then we have some more options that are available in the pro version so let's leave these let's go to design and hide toggle bin no cart in item so if you enable this then the cart icon will be displayed only once a user adds some item to it this is the toggle icon so you can use any of these then we have some pro features and you can also change these things like the horizontal position will be on the right side and then in the bottom so it will display icon here if you want to choose left then the here we will see the cart icon and this is the background of that icon the water color, the toggle icon color and so on. We will leave these as default and I'll show you how you can change these later on. Then we have toggle panel design. So this is for the pop-up. You can design the pop-up here. All of these options are in the premium margin only. And then you can go to mobile and you can enable and disable this on mobile also. And then optimization and import export. Let's save our changes. Now let's check this out. So I'll go to my website here and let's refresh this. I am just clearing cache because I have enabled and disabled some plugins. Now let's check this. So you can already see a cart icon which is floating. We have 12 items in the cart. Let's just open this and let me remove all of these. And let's try adding a product to it. So I'll add this to cart. And you can see we have 3 items now. And then this is the pop up. So you can see your cart, the close icon, our products coupon and we have all the options now here you can manage your products you can add and remove products you can increase and decrease the quantities and so on so this is how you can add a pop-up card to your woocommerce website and still if you have any questions about this video you can ask in the comment section thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next